Hey, it's your boy DJ Roxy coming to you with another tutorial video on how to fix your own equipment. And today I have in front of me, I started taking out the button even before I did the video, before I started recording the video. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm working with the Range 62. It's not much video on how to fix these on YouTube, so I just decided, well, is it, I'm pretty sure if I'm having this problem, there's someone else in the world that are having the same problem as well, especially with this mixer that it was the only problem I see that this mixer has. And that's the Q buttons. The Q. So I have two of my Q buttons that sync, and I'm going to get right inside of this to try to fix it. You know, so first of all, you have to do is what I'm doing right now, taking off all the buttons, all the knobs, and everything so we can lift the top off and start to work on this bad boy. You know, it's, like I said, there's not much video on this on YouTube, so, you know, I love helping uh, other people that been going through the same problem that I'm going through with my mixer or any of my equipment. I mostly do uh, uh, Techniques 1200 videos and um, also statins. You can check them out if you have a problem with your Techniques 1200s or your Staten 150. Uh, you can check those videos out. Uh, so first of all, you take all of these stuff off, you know, because you want to. We want to lift this thing off. So. I'm going to do this and uh, I'll be back with more of the video once I take all of these off. Alright, so um, what I did, I take all the screws out of the front panel. You have to take all the screws out. So after you take the screws out of the front panel, you're going to end up with something like this. The panel is going to be off. Then you take the screws off. This panel also gonna be off then you're gonna have all these little screws on this other panel which is this panel that holds the other panel so so it's like two panels um you take all the screws out and this gonna go up all right and you put this on the side gentle you have to be very gentle with this panel where right here you don't want to damage any of your crossfader or there's anything on this board you know so be very gentle when you put this on the side if you want to go and, and take these off you can go ahead and do that and put it on on the side but I'm not gonna through I'm not gonna go through all of that right now this is another broken one right here I just changed one uh, of the two that was damaged uh, so you get a, a set of clippers and you and you push it up and you're gonna end off with this broken uh, uh, button and like I said and I have the new one right here so just look for the position this is the right position that it goes in it goes in this position um, and you put it in you can't go wrong it's four holes that holes is in there uh, and you just clip it on. Very easy to do. You know, let me get my camera in there. You find the hole and you just push it in, in the hole and you're good to go. That's it. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put everything back together. You know, um, just push this in there. I'm gonna stop this camera to do this with my other camera. All right, so putting everything together, make sure that all your wires are connected, nothing in plug out or anything happen. Um, and you just push this up and voila, ready to screw this bad boy back in, back into the position that you take it off, you know. Um, very easy job to do. Um, and we put all the screws then back together. Alright. 
once you got that, make sure all your screws line up. After you put this panel in, to screw it back in, you want to make sure that every screw lines up. You make sure that everything line up and um, ready to screw this in. Like I said, make sure all the connectors are connected. Make sure you don't leave nothing that's not connected and you're going to be in trouble. Then you got to take all these screws out and that's a lot of little screws on this mixer. Alright, one thing I like to mention when you're screwing back the, the panels in, any screws that you see uh, that's missing from this panel down here, that means you got to screw it in. Like for instance, this hole right here corresponds to this panel. You got to see which holes correspond to the panel of the top panel. Alright, so once you have all these screws screwing, what you do next is you get your, your little nuts and start to, you know, screw all the little nuts that holds all these nuts in place. Well, like I said, you know, just after you screw all these in, uh, you want to put all your, your buttons and knobs back in place. Um, I do have a picture of, um, of before I take all these knobs off so I can look back and see where each color, uh, which each knob go where. You know, you can't go wrong um, if you see the picture um, right here. So I know that this gray one belongs right here, you know, so easy job. These are the, the broken buttons that we had inside that we replaced them. So in this video make it easy for you to uh, go in this mixer and fix your Q buttons. So there you go. Uh, like I said, these was a, the knobs that was bad. I mean you can hear it. It's not even like clicking like you know because it's new. You can't even hear the clicks you know in its form. That's the beauty about putting on new ones, you know, uh, you know, after a while these go bad, like how oh, these went bad, you know, this broken, um, so it feels so good. So we're going to test this out. Alright, so now I installed the mixer to make sure that uh, the two Q buttons that was broken that we just fixed is working. Uh, so these are the two ones. They even light up even brighter because they're brand new buttons and uh, you know they're not dirty or what you know so they're clean uh, so you know so there you have it my people how to change your Q buttons if they're broken off your Rain 62 uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, leave your comments, and peace out.